After hours. You saw Milan was in the house. That's right. Look at that energy. Come on. <laughs> yeah, they about to dance out in the seats, you know. Get that chair moves. Yeah. All right, come on now. After hours, everybody. Right. Yeah. Yeah, we found some video. Oh, Get yeah. Get the album, guys. Get the yeah. album. Yes, Get sir. the album. <laughs> All day. All day, man. Wow. As you yes. can see now, you got some enterprises now, and I'm really ready to go to some of the other sites if you need me to. Yeah. Black okay. Velvet Hair. Okay. Yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah, we're ready. Black Velvet Hair. That is. Yes. Let's see. We'll remember this time. Let's see. It was around 1121. She, 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 this is the first time she moved got, her they, neck they out. Got, hey! She went like this. Yeah, now they get comfortable oh, yeah, now. Yeah. Black Velvet <laughs> Hair. I was waiting for the hot button. Now we know what the hot button is, yeah. right? <laughs> Here we go, you guys. Ooh. There we go. Yes. Take a look. Nice. Yes. nice. Yes. That is nice. My, my, my. Wow, I wonder whose hair is that? Mm. Uh, mine. See, see. <laughs> <laughs> that is nice. Sure now, what is it doing? It's waiting. It's doing. Oh, it's loading. It's loading. You know, we have that urban buffer. <laughs> yeah, you know what the urban buffer. Talking about is. the urban buffer. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like everywhere you go, except the ghetto, we have phone connections. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at this as it jumps off, you guys. Wow. Ooh. Nice. Man, you know, you know, I, yes, obviously, I need to do something with my hair. It's black velvet hair. Wow. Wow. Now, when you say that, what yeah, is that? That means that not, they're not stock photos. That oh. means that's actually black velvet hair. Oh. Those are models oh, wow. that's wearing our hair. We have Indian hair and Brazilian hair. Oh. Yes. So this is where the ladies can go to get the hair. Yes, she can. Because men, you know, we like to know about the process. See, I didn't even know y'all went to all that. <laughs> Ladies or men, guys the swap wear meet. hair, too. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they do, honey. <laughs> they wear the hair, too, like dear. Yes, wow. they do. Fabulous. Yes, and we, wear the hair. We offer 10 <laughs> inches all the way up to 30 inches. Yeah. That sounds and impressive. If I said that, they wavy, think something else. straight, curly. <laughs> Wow. Any color you like, you can dye it. I mean, anywhere between 10 and 30 is really good inches. No really, matter what you're talking about. Sometimes your eyes see things your body can't handle. Okay, look at you guys. <laughs> I'm just saying. So, for those who want the most luxurious hair wow. in the nation, now let they me need to go to www.blackvelvethair.biz. Yes. I got to ask you guys. <laughs> nice. So, this is the enterprise... Okay, come on, Lisa. Come on, tell me about the story of Black Velvet here. I got to know the story. Cause this is—is is this your enterprise? Yes, I have a few business partners. Okay, come on now. Cause we, cause Benjamin, tell you, we love to hear about Gary Nunez. Huh? Hello. Those are my business partners, and we founded Black Velvet here. We're a brand new company. We've only been, um, we formed the company about three or four months ago. Yes. yes. Hey, congratulations. <laughs> congratulations. I'm a hair expert. Okay. I've been in the hair industry for 18 years now. Wow. So I have a lot of experience <laughs> with working with the Indian hair and extensions. Wow. Yes. We have a showroom downtown. Now, that's why, is that part of why Milan is so luxurious? <laughs> Enhances her beauty. <laughs> yes. Can't you tell? Yes, it is. Not that I can't go bald because I can. Don't get it twisted. Oh. Once women get this hair in their head, <laughs> their whole attitude changes. That is very true. They have more confidence. It's you know, they go out and get that money. Okay. Take wow. Take care of that or be, with or, confidence. Or, or for it to be given to you. Same, you know, either way. Wow. Wow. So get everybody, it, take a look at these pictures here. I'm going to scroll through it because... Uh, you can see them. Oh, you can go to the portfolio also. Okay. We had a, a big photo shoot um, about a month ago. Well, we have um, Claudia Jordan. She's wearing our Brazilian hair. She um, was a Price is Right model. Oh, here's that black hey. velvet hair portfolio. <laughs> oh, enjoy. Wow. Then we have Kai Murray. Who's wearing our hair? It's Lisa's raised daughter. Mm. And Evelyn Lozada for Basketball Wise. She's wearing our hair also. Wow. I think it's low. 
probably still loading these, the photos. Yeah, we have a lot on the website. Wow. How many? A whole lot. Of minutes. Wow. So Lisa Ray, daughter, huh? Her daughter, Kyra Lisa Ray did a photo shoot here. We always yeah. talk in the yeah. early days. That's what started her yeah. calendar. Her first calendar? Yes. Yeah. yeah. In the early. Yeah, we have a, quite a few celebrities that's demanding black velvet here. Wow. Due to its quality, stability. Yeah. Yeah. Now, oh, now take this, a look. This is hot. Now, you know, the question I have, because men are split on this. They go, some men just love the hair under any condition, and some men just can't deal. They always deal with that reality thing. But the, 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 the positive side is you can't argue with it. You can't really argue with, with what you see. I mean, I'm looking I'm looking at this. I'm going, you can take it off, put it on anytime you want. I'll tell you one thing. I'm telling men you. love running their fingers through <laughs> yes. this black yes, velvet hair. I pull it. <laughs> now, I don't, you may get a little sore in there. When you get over, I give you some Tylenol. Well, I, got, I got you a little thread up here, so don't forget what you know. <laughs> 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 That's Kai Moray. Wow. Right there. She's wearing her hair. Man, that's nice. Claudia Jordan. Oh, Claudia, different she look has too. The Brazilian hair, the Brazilian curly. That's Bella. That's Sugar Bella Shane. Gonzalez. Hey, girl. Sugar Shane Mosley. Strong girl. Wow. Yes. Wearing our hair. It's Claudia again. Man, I but like that these looks. That was from the first photo shoot, major photo shoot we had. We had like twenty models. Now, do there. you target a specific type of client? Because it seems like. I mean, clients, the mentality, the hair, the cost, does that all make you go, you say, we take everybody as clients? No, we do take everybody. Okay. We don't discriminate. Got you. We want everybody to have black velvet hair on their head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Whether you rich or poor. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I, I, I can't wait to pull some black velvet. I know. So you know what? <laughs> Well, I, I got I got some people that I can let you talk to. Because oh. <laughs> I'm spoken for. Oh. <laughs> so I, I, I got some black velvet candidates that oh. are interested. We have lots of them. Oh, oh, man. You know, the chat room is going crazy oh. with y'all yeah. now. The chat room. <laughs> yeah, it's on the seat. <laughs> yeah, I know. The chat room was saying, mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Oh, look at, yes. boy, look at this. So, our showroom look is located that. downtown, um, five, four or five, three. South Spring. Spring Street. It's on 4th and Spring. Say that again now. Our showroom. showroom is located downtown LA. 543 South Spring Street. 543 South Spring. Yes, it's in between 5th and 4th. Go downtown and Street. get you some. And so come down, enjoy the nice experience, have a glass of wine, champagne. Oh. Relax. Ooh. While you purchase, if you're lucky, I yeah. might be there. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wonderful experience. Well, you know what the thing to think about too, and I'm just gonna say it because I can already say, y'all already gave me ideas, and I'm just gonna speak freely. I sure can imagine a reality television Thank show. You. Yes, that's yeah. what can we you got imagine tying their yeah. shop? Oh yes. You know you can stream from that shop 24 hours a day. Yes. And step in front of that camera and act a fool. Okay. And then people coming yes. in, see some people may like it, some won't. <laughs> Right. They say, yeah. I get to be on reality TV when I come into the shop. <laughs> yeah. But just the potential is big. Mm -hmm. It's big. It's what they, what it's they in can the do. works. Yeah. That's we're right. 10 steps ahead of you. Of course, we're women. Oh, yes. So the reality show is already in the works. Oh, did you, hear, called, did you hear that it's answer? It's called Journey ENT. <laughs> featuring okay. myself and two other um, female entrepreneurs and Black Velvet here. So we See? discussed this, and this is in the works. And uh, look out for it. Journey ENT. Wow. Wow. That's Bertina Robinson. She's a jazz singer. From the wow! Promise. Wow! This is this is this is hot. Yeah, Thank you. you. He's this enjoying hot. this journey now, the, and the people can order. You do online. We too. do online ordering. We do delivery services. Take a look, you guys. Wow! I'm opening up a salon also in North Hollywood, which will have the black velvet hairline there. Retail. Make sure you let us know. You know, we even tell people we, that we can do, we can run commercials, and we will okay. yes. showcase things for our people in our community. You see, what it really is is support for entrepreneurs right. that are yeah. friends. So we tell them, if you're doing something, if you make a commercial for what you're doing, you can count Pax Stereo as a friend. We okay. will show your commercials now okay. about what you're doing. We do that. Take a look, everybody, at the site. It's a wonderfully designed site. Very simple. And we have a Twitter page also, Black Velvet Hair, on Twitter. Mm. And we have a Facebook page, Black Velvet Hair CO. So everybody go on our page and like us. There you go. You know, and I, what I like, the bold stuff here is because, you know, a lot of times people in, in the field you're in, they don't go downtown. 
they tend to want to go to where they call the, the, the areas where they say the influence may be greater. But the right. idea that downtown is a renovation project that's mm-hmm. taken a whole different really look is, is right. what you've yeah. done. And I'm pretty sure I can't wait to come down there and actually say, OK, I, you picked a spot for a strategic oh, reason. Yes. Well, why did you pick that spot? To set us aside from everyone else. <laughs> there it is. You know, downtown, they're building up downtown. It's very nice. Yeah. You know, and it's you very it. comfortable. And there's a sense of, um, there's a sense of inti- an intimate setting when you go in. It's not like, hey, girl, you coming to get your weave done? You right. know, it's not, it's very intimate. They're very professional. Yeah. The hair is of good quality. Um, you can compare it to other hair that you've bought in the past. I'm pretty sure that yeah. you will not be disappointed. Did both you ladies grow up here in L.A.? I did. Yeah. Per, you know, yeah. I've been in I'm different areas of L.A. And, 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 and just how, what made you, I mean, what was the push that got you started so into being, you know, running your own thing, being entrepreneurs? Um, I mean, it's really amazing. I love what you've done. Yeah. I love what you've done. we got to commend what you've done. Let me yeah. give you some claps yeah, for that. that's true. <laughs> love what you've done. You know, and then we, but I always try to see if we can somehow find what factors is it that makes some people go on to achieve, to persevere. Because you look out at a crowd, a group of people, you can't really tell who's doing what and, and what motivates some folks. But obviously, both of you, uh, mm-hmm. well-grounded by someone, somewhere, <laughs> mm-hmm. well-grounded to even embark. So what got you guys going? I'm so curious about going about your perspective, you know, your your entrepreneurial careers. What got you going? What made you do this stuff? Well, I'm a very independent person. No. I've had <laughs> one job, a nine to five before, um, years ago, working at Kmart, I probably was like 17, 18 years old. Uh-huh. Wow. Uh-huh. And, you know, my supervisor just always wanted me to do her work uh-huh. after I would be done with mine. And I didn't like that. I don't like to kiss ass. I want to do what I'm paid for, you know, mm-hmm. to do. It's not that and bad. That's, and that's that. <laughs> <laughs> no. So I refused and I got fired. Wow. Oh, and I wow. felt that that was very unfair. Right. You know. So at that point, I just said, I never want to work for, you know, corporate America you. again, unless I'm getting six figures or you right. know, something like that. But right. not for no minimum wage, right. not for no $15 an hour or whatever. Whatever, it's too much stress. Right. And I know a lot of people that hate getting up in the morning, going to work and, you know, with their co-workers, their boss. People be having nervous breakdowns, you know. I, I don't like to feel like that. I like to be happy. I like to do my own thing when I want to do it. So that's what motivated me to start my own business, to go to cosmetology school um, because I was interested in opening up a salon, creating product lines.